17th and 19th respectively at the start of the weekend. Lille and Angers were both in serious need of points as they came together at the Stade at Pierre Mauroy on Saturday. Lille coach Christophe Galtier hoping to see his side build on last week's second half performance against Lyon when they came from two goals down to draw 2-2. Andre coming into this one on the back of three consecutive defeats, with coach Stefan Moulin denying reports in the French media that he's set to extend his contract until 2020. For the first chance going Andre's way in the sixth minute. Faviante cutting inside and getting a shot away, just clipping the outside of the post. He's yet to score in Ligue 1 Conferama this season. Tay, not far off there. Manger came even closer to the opening goal on 22 minutes. Matija Pavlovic forcing a superb stop from Mike Menyot. And it was a poor follow-up effort from captain Ismael Traore. Great save from Menyot. And Traore really should have done better. So goalless at half-time. Manger with the better chances, but both sides lacking a bit of cutting edge in that final third. Of course, important to stay warm on a cold night in northern France. Lille coming forward six minutes into the second half with Luis Araujo. Getting a ball across, well left. Nicola Pepe forcing the stop from Ludovic Putel. Pepe who came through the Angers youth system. Looking to get a goal against his former side. Angers then so close to the opening goal on 67 minutes. Prince on a Yange tonight by Thiago Maia. Clearing off the line, the Brazilian. After a corner in from Tay. The opening goal arriving on 73 minutes. Angers working the ball out to the left flank to Johan Andre. And here's cross headed home by Carl Tokowakambi. Who else but Angers leading man this season? His 12th goal of the campaign and his first from open play in 2018. Probably deserved for Angers, who'd had the better chances in the game up to this point. But Lille thought they'd rescued a point two minutes from time. Iman Faraj getting to the byline and putting in a brilliant cross from Pepe. Muted celebrations against his former club. Now three goals for him in his last three league and outings, eight for the season. A great ball in from Farage for Lille's leading goal scorer. And really that should have been it. But just a minute later, Ange restored their lead in the 89th minute of the game. That man Toko Akambi again volleying home superbly after he was played on side by the Lille defence. 13th of the campaign for the Cameroon striker. As you can see, not offside. Wonderful technique to put it away with the outside of the right boot. And so a huge win for Andre, who move out of the drop zone. Lille, meanwhile, slipped down to 19th place.